the case the flex game comes in legit looks like a nintendo switch case you know we have three mma fighters with uh devices right now this can help with things like pre-working out if you have a shoulder strain or if you need help releasing melatonin to go to sleep for women with like menstrual pain prehabilitation rehabilitation uh, also boosting energy levels affects your circadian rhythm and helps you wake up with more energy Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brennan Mejia here. Part two of my interview about the red light device that I've been using known as Flexbeam with the CEO of the company. Make sure to watch the entire video. We have a link for a discount code in the bio below and a 30 day money back guarantee if you're thinking of getting one yourself, but you don't want to drop the money without trying it. Um, I was skeptical at first too. So after using it though, honestly, I've like tweaked my wrist hand balancing and the next day my wrist is fine, which is crazy because it sounds like it doesn't even make sense. And I still don't even understand it, but you know, red light, red ranger, it works. So. I also spoke with Dr. Frost who is your doctor on staff, I guess. Yeah. I mean, a company I've heard in ways too. And she's an amazing woman, super yeah. knowledgeable, but she was saying like, cause I asked her, I was like, what, what makes this different than doing like a red light sauna or getting a different product like why flex beam and she was talking about i mean maybe you can lend more to it but the fact that you can control the dose because right. this is actually physically touching your skin unlike a panel if you're in a sauna or something they have to make the doses such a way where it's safe but the safer it gets and also making sure you're close enough or far enough like you know the further away you are from a ray you're not going to get as much of that energy but this is programmed literally to be in physical contact so you always get the same amount every time which makes coming up with protocols to use it more accurate yeah it actually um i would say more efficient right so uh the idea i mean if you think about panels it's a two-dimensional object okay and your body's three-dimensional and so when light hits at different points on your body you're going to get different levels also, it doesn't really penetrate, you know, your, your skin. It, it's going to reflect more than anything. So what we've got is more of a concept where it applies directly to your skin. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you don't get that reflection and you get the penetration. The other thing is, is um, the whole the whole advantage of FlexBeam versus other products is power level. So you want to have what we call about more than 100 watts per square centimeter of actual power. And in mm -hmm. order to get that amount of power, you need it you know and into your body and into your muscle structure you need to have it against the skin and so this is why we call it targeted red light therapy it's um allows it to penetrate and then you get that full healing benefit you can get into the joints uh, i use mm. it on my knees every day uh mm. you know i use it on my back same as you i mean i was i blew out my back doing like 450 pound squats when i was wow. probably 50 years old right and uh wow. I just, my whole disc just squished forward into my spinal cord and man, that was painful. But, <laughs> yeah, but it works great in the lower back. Uh, it works yeah. great in the neck, you know, you're sitting in an office all day long and you get this like, you know, like just kind of stiff feeling. And mm -hmm. yeah, you pull this on there and 10 minutes later, that stiff feeling just kind of like disappears. Amazing. And Dr. Frost was saying like for most people, like the healthier your physiology is, you can maybe handle a few more doses in a day. Um, yeah. so Thing for me, I could do like four to five in a day, but on average, was it like two to three different parts of the body in a day or something like that? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, my regime every night um, before I go to, to sleep, I, I'm on my bed and I have um, one knee. I've had two surgeries on, so it's my worst knee. And so mm -hmm. I wrap it around that. I do 10 minutes on that. I pull it up to my stomach area, um, helps with the um, everything inside your stomach, all the good yep. stuff. Then I put it on my chest. Yeah, right, is uh, also photo or, or uh, light sensitive, so it can help. Yeah, yeah. Flora. yeah, yeah, exactly. And then I pull it up on my chest because um, we've done, we've got a lot of feedback from people where they feel that when they put it on their chest before they sleep, that they actually get a better night's sleep. And you know, once I started doing this, I do it for ten minutes every night on my chest and it really does help me sleep i mean i only sleep about six hours but it gives me at least a good six hours of sleep yeah and then any other places if sometimes i have the elbow pain or you know a bicep issue or, or whatever i'll move it there but usually i do um i would say three to four sessions every night before i go to sleep amazing amazing yeah I, i've been loving this thing and again like you mentioned the sessions are about 10 minutes uh when i got this dr frost sent me like an ebook with different protocols so this can help with things like 
pre-working out, like warming up, like using it in muscles, again, get that blood flow going. Um, or, I mean, you could do jumping jacks and stuff too, but this does it again in a different kind of cellular level. Um, and then like, if you have a shoulder strain or if you need help releasing melatonin to go to sleep, she right. had different protocols for that. Or um, for women with like menstrual pain, like that's also a protocol thing that was listed. Um, but, but don't, we don't, this one specifically, like you mentioned, they make masks, but this one shouldn't be on the face, right? Because the yeah. energy is yeah. drunk. It's too high a power for direct contact, but we have done studies where on power level one, you can put it 20 centimeters away from your face and you can get that mm. same effect from all the different masks that they have. Uh, just be careful not to put it on a higher power level setting. We don't yeah. um, suggest to do this, but it's okay if you do do it. You have to wear goggles too, so you can protect your eyes. And goggles come with the, uh, the whole pack that we send out. That they do. And for my, my fellow nerds who are on my channel um the case the flex game comes in legit looks like a nintendo switch case just slightly bigger i don't know if you know what nintendo switch is but like i'm a big nintendo fan yeah so. i kind of i kind of remember this game back in the 70s called pong that was my last game i played okay so <laughs> i'm a little bit older than you brendan so nintendo yeah my son has one of those here <laughs> yeah no i mean i i definitely play games a lot too i mean i honestly the games like the characters they're like so buff and i'm like if they yeah, can yeah. even up and do those workouts so can i which makes no sense because they're not real and i am but uh, they inspire me. And so then I hopefully inspire other people by attempting to train like these fake people that don't exist. But yeah, I mean, is there anything else you want to let everyone know like about FlexBeam? Again, like prehabilitation, rehabilitation, um, also boosting energy levels, um, using sure. it in the morning if you can't feel like you wake up. Like again, the red light mimics um, the red light from a sunrise and sunset, which again, affects your circadian rhythm and helps you wake up with more energy. Putting it on your spine, there's a systemic effect, not just um, where you put it. It's not just like an acute response. Like if your wrist hurts, you just put it on your wrist. It also can uh, move through your body through the energy, right? Right, exactly. You know, you want to get uh, the infrared energy into your blood vessels, okay? Mm. We did do a study, uh, Dr. Uh, Zulia Frost had done a study where it was a very controlled study where, you know, you know the typical pain if you haven't worked out for a while and let's say you do some bicep exercises, right? Then you feel that like soreness for like two or three days afterwards. Yeah. Especially yeah. with the quads, okay? But um, yeah, but actually what, what they found was that during this study that we applied it like we had a placebo study, right? So one was a fake red light and one was their actual red light. And we had them put it on to their bicep area before the workout and after the workout and measure effectively the level of pain, okay, over the next one, two, three days. And they found that there was actually less of this muscular pain after you do exercise for the two or three days on the side that the flex beam versus the side that was a placebo side. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, so it, it actually, and, and also there's like tons of different testimonials that we have. Like Dr. Frost was an amazing story. She actually got in a car accident, went through her windshield, broke her back, okay? Like in about three places, like, and yeah. she used red light as part of her recovery. You got to listen to her story. It's amazing. But yeah, so preventive, uh, also recovery. Uh, I use it mostly for recovery and for uh, just getting rid of any types of pain or achy or uh, stiffness that I have in my body. Um, women, like you said, they use it for uh, menstrual pain. Uh, we just have tons and tons of different testimonials of people using it. Sports figures, uh, yeah. MMA fighters. Um, you know, we have three MMA fighters with uh, devices right now. Unfortunately, wow. one just got knocked out last weekend. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was it because of the fast? He'll recover fast. Yeah, well, hopefully this will help his his uh, head recover quick. You know. All right, guys, that's part two of the three part series um, talking about Flex Beam with the CEO of the company. Um, again, make sure to check out the link below if you want the discount code on this bad boy. Um, I've been using this primarily on my wrists, my lower back, and I injured my shoulder um, in a lat insertion point when I was doing circus. So I wasn't able to do pull-ups for about two months. And now I can do more than 10 again. So yay. Um, yeah. Stay tuned. Part three coming up.